Hi, I'm Chuck Wood, and I'm part of a movement of movements called No Place Left, where we're engaging the lost, sharing the gospel, making disciples, and planning new churches, and multiplying leaders until there's no place left. That means every man, woman, and child on the planet has heard the gospel that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Today, what I want to talk about is a very effective Bible reading plan called the Cornerstone. I've used it for years, and it's super effective. So let's begin with Ephesians 2, 19 through 20. It says, So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and are of God's household, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. So Jesus is the cornerstone. Now, a cornerstone is a very important part of the building process. It's the first stone laid, and it determines all the angles and direction for the rest of the building. So wouldn't it be appropriate for us to start our reading program with the Gospels? Now, once we get them reading the Gospels, consistently we move to the New Testament and then the Old Testament. And of course, the apostles and prophets point squarely to Jesus Christ himself. Now, let's take a look at what this looks like on a daily basis. So we begin in the Gospels, and we have them read one chapter a day, starting in the Gospel of Matthew. Once they get competent and confident with that, we add another chapter in the New Testament, beginning with Acts. Now they're reading two chapters a day. Once they're confident and competent with that, we add another chapter in the Old Testament, beginning in the book of Genesis. Now they're reading three chapters a day. Once they're confident and competent there, we add another chapter to the Old Testament, beginning with Psalms. And now they're reading four chapters a day. Pretty good saturation in the Word of God. So, when they finish with the Gospels, they just cycle back to Matthew and begin over again. When they finish the New Testament, they cycle back to Acts and start that over again. So, in 15 months, they will have read through the Old Testament once. They will have read through the New Testament two and a half times and read through the Gospels five times being thoroughly saturated in the Word of God. It reminds me of Colossians 3.16. It says, Let the Word of Christ richly dwell within you. This is an excellent Bible reading program. It will pay off big time in those young disciples' lives as they saturate their lives with the Word of God. Hey, we're at noplaceleft.net if you want more information. And until next time, keep making disciples.